All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Projects, Telephone Number Validator. All right. So we're going to return, pardon me, we're going to return true if the pass string looks like a valid U.S. phone number. Uh, the user may fill out the form field any way they choose as long as it has the information of a valid U.S. number. The following are examples of valid formats, pardon me, for uh, U.S. numbers. We're going to refer to the test below for even more variants, right? So it'll be like this. We'll have uh, three digits and then an optional space or uh, hyphen. We'll also have some optional uh, parentheses and we'll also have an optional one. And then three, a group of three digits, a group of three digits and a group of four or just all like this, right? So that being said, uh, since we're doing something like this and we're gonna have to be checking one thing at a time, we're definitely gonna have to do, pardon me, use regex on this. Anyway, let me, let's me let get through, through the end of this. Uh, for this challenge, we will be presented with such a string, with a string such as this right here or this right here, uh, which is nonsense. Uh, our job is to validate or reject the US phone number based on any combination of the formats provided above, right? The area code is required. If the country code is provided, we must confirm that the country code is one for the US. Uh, we're gonna return true if the string is valid US phone number. Otherwise, we're gonna return false. All right. So that being said, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to use regex to find this, okay? So we type in to, first thing we, we do if we're gonna look up regex, we type in like telephone number regex and uh, like this telephone number regex basically. And the first thing that comes up is this Stack Overflow page. And we can see that it's going to be quite a, quite a, a strip of regex right here, right? Uh, and I've already taken most of these and put them in to the thing and they're not gonna work. So we're gonna, fact is we got it, we have to cook up our own for this, all right? So since we know we're gonna be using regex, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna do a little uh, worksheet for us. So we'll start off with a uh, front slash. We'll have two uh, stars, whoops. Well, whatever, it does it for us. Uh, and then we're gonna start working in here. So the first thing we have to deal with is this uh, one, is this optional one with the optional space after it, all right? Because as we can see with, uh, where's one? Where's something? With, anyway, so this, uh, as we can see here, the space is optional, right? Because this is gonna return true, All right? So we'll say uh, one optional, optional one with space, all right? With optional space, all right? And for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have a character. We're going to first, we're going to put this into actually, let me back up. First things first with this regex is we're going to have to start it and end it with the uh, assertions with these assertions with the carrot. We're going to have to start it at the beginning and then end it with the uh, dollar sign because this is going to be in order. This isn't going to be just. Uh, whatever we want, you know, it's not going to be like match this first, match this wherever, you know. So we're going to have to start it off. We'll have to say start with uh, this right here, all right? And then we're going to match the optional one with the optional space, all right? So we'll say something like this. So we're going to have a capture group, all right? So we've got the uh, capture group, capture group. This is the capture groups. Anyway, let's go get the capture groups over here. Uh, so groups and back references, we're gonna use the capture group right here, which is the parentheses, all right? So we're gonna start off with the parentheses and inside this parentheses, we're gonna match the one and the optional space. So backslash S for space and we come over to character classes if we forgot. The uh, backslash lowercase s matches a single white space character, right? So now we're matching that, but it needs to be, it's an optional space, okay? So for the optional space, we're gonna come over to the quantifiers and we're gonna check out 
this right here where X question mark, where it matches the preceding item X, or in our case, the space zero or one time. So it's optional basically. So we're gonna put the question mark after this S. And since this whole section right here is optional also, we're gonna put another question mark after it, right? So this is the first thing we're matching, and this is gonna match the one with the optional space. So now we're gonna deal with the uh, this section right here where we've got the three digits with the optional parentheses, right? So let's say three digits with optional parentheses, all right? And so for this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another uh, capture group. So we'll have the capture group like this. And the first thing we have to match is a parenthesis. Where's the parenthesis? The parenthesis right here, the opening parenthesis. So we're going to, uh, let's come over to the character classes again. We're gonna use the escape character right here because as you can see, there's plenty of times where we're gonna use it, where we're gonna use these uh, open and close parentheses in regex. So we need to escape this with the escape character, the backslash, and then also have <clears throat> one like that. And see, it's gonna do, like, it's gonna automatically do this so let's take out the uh, closing parentheses. <coughs> Pardon me. So now we're matching that. So after the parentheses, we're gonna have to match uh, three digits. So we'll come over to the uh, character classes and we're gonna use the digits, which is the lowercase d right here, match any digit. So we're gonna say lowercase d after that, lowercase d. So this is matching the parentheses. This is matching the digit. Now we can make three lowercase d's or we could use the, uh, was it a quantifier? Yeah, quantifier of the uh, brackets with n, where n is a positive integer that matches exactly n occurrences of the preceding item, right? So we're gonna have the curly braces and we're gonna do n like that, not n, three like this. So it's gonna match the digit so this is another section, which is matching the digit three times. And then we're going to do another escape character with the close parentheses. So let's do escape and close parentheses right here. So now it's matching this, this, and this, or, or, so we're gonna have the pipe, or we're just gonna match this right here if there's no parentheses, all right? So let's copy this. Whoops. Let's do a control C on that. And after the pipe, let's do a control V, right? So again, we're matching this, this, followed by this, followed by this, or we're matching this, all right? And that's all in this capture group. So that's the three digits with optional parentheses. That's this part right here. So now after that, we're gonna do optional space or hyphen, all right? So that's gonna be here. It can be either nothing or a space or a hyphen. So what this is, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do another capture group. Let's, let me. We're gonna do another capture group and inside of this capture group, we're gonna do a character class, all right? So we're gonna have the brackets uh, with the character class, just like this right here, because we're going to match two things. And since it's either or, we don't need to say an or, you know what I'm saying? So let's come over here and we're going to say, uh, we want to match the space. So the space like this, like we did here, and also the hyphen. And since the height, there's hyphens in uh, stuff like A through C and all this stuff, we're going to have to escape that hyphen. So we'll do escape character hyphen, all right? So we're matching this and we're gonna, and since this stuff is optional, we're going to have the question mark after it, just like that. So now we're matching this, pardon me, this or this, and it's optional, all right? And so that's gonna take care of this part right here. So the rest of it, we already have pretty much done. We just need to uh, copy and paste. So we're gonna say, Group of three, group of three digits, all right? 
And that's going to be uh, this right here. So we don't even need we don't need the uh, capture group or the uh, anything like that, because see, if we when we do it like this, when we do it like this, it can do this since nothing's optional. This has to be here. It'll be able to do stuff like this when we just leave it perfectly like that. All right. So now we've got that. And let's do another optional space or hyphen. Because now we're doing this section right here. All right. So let's drop that there. And then we're going to do this again. And let's change this up to four. And we'll change this number to four right here. And that's all the regex. So now let's just say end it with the dollar sign, right? And so this is the regex that we're gonna use. So now all we have to do is come up here and say, let regex equal, and we'll have the uh, regex like this. We'll have these right here, but let's let's leave those till the end. Uh, and we'll start with the carrot, and then we'll take this, we'll copy this, put it here, copy this, no spaces, remember, this is regex. Copy this, put it here. 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 And then we don't need to copy that, but we're doing it anyway. And then we'll start it off with the forward slash and we'll end with the forward slash, all right? And so now we can't really check this until we say something like this, return regex.test, and we're going to test the string like that. And now let's cross our fingers because that's a whole bunch of stuff we don't want to redo. Uh, let's cross our fingers when we test it. Let's wrap this in parentheses and say console.log, console.log. True. Oh, it's true. What if it's a, an extra letter? False. Ah, okay, cool. So there we go. Uh, so this is a, it's a long thing, but if we break it down into parts, it works. Uh, and then, you know, looking up the stack exchange to get kind of an idea what we need to do. And then like putting, cause look what happens when we actually put these answers in there. Uh, let me, let me grab this and put it in there, copy it, put it in like thus. It still says true, but when we run it, eh, no, doesn't work. So that's why sometimes we got to cook up our own. All right. Uh, and so the one we cooked up right here works for this particular thing. Run the test. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to cash register. And we'll see you next time.